Hey, I'm Sean from Sprinkler Daddy, and uh, I'm in the shop on a Saturday today, uh, which is unusual for me, but uh, I'm finally making some time to get around to renovating um, our our own house, and uh, Sprinklers is a part of that. So um, right off the bat here, uh, I, I haven't got enough time to do the whole system right now, but um, I've got shrubs in the front of our house that there's an, there's an overhang and the shrubs don't get any water and I don't want them to die, So I, and, I, and I hate getting out with the hose and, and watering those, and my wife hates getting out with the hose to, watering those, or to water those, so um, we're going to put in a uh, makeshift drip system for, for right now, and uh, we're going to eventually tie that into the manifold um, for the whole system, but right now we're just going to run it off of a, a tap and... Uh, I wanted to show you how I'm going to do that. So um, basically, I'm in here picking out all my parts, and uh, what I've uh, what I've started with is uh, at the at the tap is I'm going to have uh, going to have this unit here hooked up, and uh, uh, this brass piece here is a three quarter inch. Um, pipe or a hose thread by a three quarter inch pipe thread uh, to th uh, to thread onto my. Um, onto my outside tap on the side of my house. And then I've got a three quarter inch uh, nipple there, a pressure regulator uh, because the uh, the drip line doesn't need all that pressure um, from uh, that you're going to get for your whole system. So you've got to cut the pressure down to 25 PSI. So that's what that is. Then I've got a coupler to get my insert adapter on there. And then I'm going to have my pipe on there. Uh, I'm going to put that together with a clamp like that. And then I'm going to run my pipe into my uh, into my shrub beds. So um, basically, once I get into the shrub beds, the uh, the the pressure line pipe, the the half inch pipe, will just run along the top of the the shrub bed. And uh, when I need to, I'll, I'll be videoing the whole thing so you'll be able to see. But there's a, a sidewalk that I have to get across. It's basically two beds separated by a sidewalk. So um, I'm going to uh, go or take some of the patio stones that are there right now and and get underneath um, or tunnel underneath to get uh, into the other bed. And then I'm going to run that bed on or run that pipe to the end of the bed. And at the end of the bed, I'm going to have um, this little. Uh, plug that we've that we've got here and uh, what that's going to do is it's going to stay closed for the whole year but then in the fall when I go to blow it out I can just open up this faucet here and all the air and water can come out of the faucet instead of uh, a tiny little emitter hole so um, and I'm going to have that on with just a clamp there so um, now off of that um, pressure line what I'm going to have is um, I'm going to poke a hole with my uh, trusty little uh, punch tool here that uh, I'm going to so I'm going to punch a hole in there and I'm going to insert a quarter inch coupler uh, into the pipe and then I've got my tubing here that uh, I'm going to cut off for, for each shrub. At each shrub I'm going to have a length of this tubing coming off the main pipe. That's going to be connected to the coupler. And at the end of that uh, um, that tubing I'm going to stick in a rain bug zero or sorry rain bug, rain bird zero bug uh, emitter, drip emitter. Um, and I'm going to set that tubing on a uh, tubing stake here so that uh, each shrub can get some water. And then after all of that's done. We're gonna cover up that uh, supply line with some uh, Eco Chips uh, mulch that we've that we've got here, and uh, we'll clean it up a little bit, hopefully. So um, that's the uh, that's the parts that I'm gonna be using for my drip system, and uh, we'll take you along the way to show you how we put all this stuff together.